Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here. I've certainly been missing you guys. I know it's been a long time since I've filmed. Hopefully you guys are missing me as well. Um, today I'll be showing you how to create my rigidy bracelet. This is my own design. I came up with it fairly recently. Um, it does take about 250 bands or so. It is reversible. This is the signature side and this is the back side, which I think looks really cool. But these white bands... Um, it's pretty hard to get them to look nice. It doesn't want to lay all that straight, which drives me nuts, but I still think it's pretty cool. So this is using the limited edition bands for that part. Here's the opaque. I think the opaque actually worked better for this one. Um, but yes, yeah, so there you have it. And without rambling on any longer, let's get started. To make this bracelet, you will need to have a minimum of four bar pins. If you want a full wrap, you'll need eight. That's what I'm using today. Uh, make sure that you have your bar pins all aligned like that. And you'll need one C-clip and your hook. I do have my four here, and then in front of those, I have my next four. Just so I can get a full wrap. Now, I would recommend choosing the colors that you're going to use ahead of time because you do need, you don't have to, but I used five different colors for this one. And that's what I'll be doing today as well. So you definitely want to get them together. So the first couple bands that we're going to lay at the beginning here is going to be the color of this gold border. So if you like a tight close, you can lay two on the very center. I'm just going to lay one. And then you're going to go out to the right and one out to the left. Just outlining that bottom row. And then we actually need to come to the very end of your loom. Um, and for this bracelet, I come to the very, very end for it to fit my wrist. You may need to adjust. And we're going to actually lay one on the left and the right here as well. So you don't want to lay anything on the middle. You just want to do it like that. And that's really important. So just make sure you have those two bands like that. Now you can go ahead and come back to the beginning. And we are going to switch colors now. We'll come back to that color later. So the color that we lay right now is going to be the middle peachy color in there, the X's, and it's a single chain on this side. So I'm going to use white. This is very basic. We're just going to make two single chains up to two center rows. Um, the pattern of the layout, or the layout of this design, um, is it's quite repetitive. We pretty much we don't do anything fancy. We do the same thing multiple times, so it's really easy in my opinion. Um, since there is a good amount of steps that we have to do. I'm going to go ahead and get this laid. Remember, you have to also lay a single chain on this row as well. Um, and then once you reach the top, I will show you guys what to do next. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So make sure your loom is looking like this. Make sure you have a single chain on both the right and the left centers. Because I know I didn't do this side on camera. So I just want to make sure nobody skips that. So we have two single chains on our centers, and now we are going to start laying some horizontal bands. Um, now the color that we're laying right now is going to be what is brown, this uh, glittery brown on this one. And you see it on the sides here, kind of poking through. So I'm going to actually use an opaque brown. And as I said, they're just going to be um, horizontal bands. You're going to skip the very first row here, come up to the next row. Lay your horizontal band, come up to the next one, do the same, and we're just going to do that all the way up. We're also going to do this on the left side as well.
it's so quiet that I can hear the crickets outside. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can. They're actually quite annoying. <laughs> okay, so you're actually not going to lay... Oh, no, I'm sorry. You are going to lay one at the top. Make sure you lay one at the top. And then come back to the beginning and do the same on the left side. Come to the second row and repeat all the way up. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like right now. So take a moment and push them down because we have a couple more layers to add on. We're actually going to go back to the very first color, which was that border color. And we're going to lay that on just the side. So whatever color you have here is what you should be laying right now. And we're just going to outline the side. So starting on the very bottom pin, just do a single chain up the side. And we'll do this on both the right and obviously the left as well. Some of these bands are loose. I don't like how they feel. I probably should not have choose a stretchy band like this. Just take it to the top and then come to the left side and do the exact same thing. So I will meet you guys back here in just a moment when I reach the top. So once you have both of your sides ordered up, push them down some, come back to the beginning, and we're going to lay horizontal bands again. So like I said, it's very repetitive. And these horizontal bands that we're going to be laying is actually the black that's in this one here. So you see it right there, and it's kind of hiding in the middle there. So I'm going to use pink. And we're going to do exactly what we did, just like we did on where the brown ones were. Same exact thing. Definitely helps if you have your bands pushed down out of the way.
take it to the top and you have to come back and repeat on the left side and I don't know if I said it on this side but you're skipping the very first row and you're coming to the second row and starting it so the only color you should have horizontal in that first one is whatever you used for the border I'm scared I'm going to lose my loom here. It's like at the end of my table. One more to go, and there we go. Okay, so this is what our loom should be looking like right now. A couple different layers going on, and once again, push down your bands. We are going to need, <clears throat> excuse me, to add one more layer. Um, and most importantly, you're going to want to push down the middle, because that's where we're going to be laying our next set of bands. It's just going to be another single chain uh, running up the two center rows. And that is going to be what is white on this bracelet. So all this white here is what we're going to be laying now. And I'm actually going to be using yellow. So come to the beginning and like I said, we're just going to lay a single chain up the centers. This is our last layer, by the way. Like so. Do the exact same thing. None of the bands I chose today were a good choice because half of them were thin and feel all stretched out. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, so that was our last and final layer. So as I always say, I would push down your band some. And then we're going to turn our loom around like so. So we are going to need to add a cap band around the two front center pins. I usually say to use your border color, but I don't have one in front of me, so I'm just going to use this yellow one since I have it. And I just usually wrap a cap band around one of the center pins. Then I grab that whole cap band with my hook and I stretch it over so it's wrapping around both like that. 
So now we have our cap in and now we can start looping. So before we actually start looping these center yellows that we've just laid, we're going to need to turn our loom a little bit because we're going to be working with the very, very bottom band, which for me is the brown, and it's actually one of the horizontal bands on the bottom. And we're going to be bringing that very bottom band up and over. If you start on the very first row here, there's actually a band underneath that one. So we're going to grab the two bottom bands on the first pin, bring them up and over like that. Coming on to the next row, you're only grabbing one bottom band and you're just looping it up and over that pin. Grabbing the bottom band, loop it up and over. Grabbing that very bottom band, bring it up and over the pin. So we're going to do that all the way up before we loop anything. So it's very simple. And this is what it will look like if you're looking from the top. So it's just sitting in front of the pin like that. So I'm going to get this side laid and then I'll come back and I'll get you started on the right side. And by the way, you are going to stop on the second to the last pin. The very last pin, you do not bring up the bottom band. So don't touch anything on that very last one. Stop at that one right there. So now I'm going to come to the right side just to get you guys started. Remember on the very first pin, over here on the bottom right, you're going to be grabbing two bottom bands and bringing them up and over like that. And then you can proceed going up the right side with just grabbing one bottom band. And make sure you're getting the correct one. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all looped up and over. Remember, do not do the last one at the top. And I'll be right back to show you what we are going to do next. And if I am going too fast, don't forget you can always pause and rewind at any time. Alrighty, so once you have all of those bottom bands on the sides looped up and over, we are going to loop the very top single chains on the centers here, which is my yellow. So we are going to be just bringing them out to the sides. So if you're doing the right row first, go in your cap band, grab that very top band and bring it right out to the right, like so. Come up to the next one, grab the top band, bring it straight out to the right. And you're just going to keep bringing it over like that to the pin next to it. I'd say it's pretty easy so far, and hopefully you guys agree. So that's what it's looking like if you're doing it correctly. I haven't used yellow in so long. I never use it for some reason.
Alrighty. So my right side's done, and now you have to do the same exact thing on the left center pin, except for this one, we're going to bring it out to the left. If you're not caught up, you can always pause or rewind if you need to. So go in your cap band, grab the top band, do the same thing, except bring it out to the left. Repeat on the next one, and so on. So I am almost at the top, so I'm going to get mine completed, and then I'll return and show you what we're going to do next. Alrighty, everyone, so this is what your loom should be looking like. So we're going to bring it back down to the beginning, and we're now going to loop our next layer, which is going to be these pinks of mine, which um, is the second band for you guys. So it's that horizontal band sitting under the ones we just looped. So we'll come to the very first pin down here, and what we're going to do is reach in the right side, grab your topmost band, which should be a horizontal band. Like I said, it's pink for me. And we're going to stretch it up diagonally to the left side. Like that. Just like you would be looming like X bands. And then we'll come in the bottom left one, grab the top horizontal band, and you're going to bring that up diagonally to the right. So it should make that little X. I always start on the right side. Go inside, push back, grab that top band. Stretch it over to the left. Grab the bottom left one, or top left one. Stretch it up to the right. And we'll keep doing that all the way up. There's two horizontal bands in there, so make sure you're grabbing the top horizontal band. So my brown one is the, is the band that came up and over. See how it's right there? You don't want to be grabbing that band. It's When you go inside the pin, whatever is that top band in there is the one that you should be looping right now. I'm having a hard time holding it up, so I'm going to lay it down now. <laughs> There is actually a two-step process to the bands that we are looping right now. So we will loop them all up as we are right now, like the X's. Um, and then after you're done, we're actually going to do another looping step with that same band. So I'm going to go ahead and get these done, and I'll come back and show you what we do next. Alrighty, so after you have looped all of those, it should be looking like this now. So like I said, it's a two-step process for the bands that you just looped up the middle. So we're actually going to be looping them now on the sides. And what we're going to do is come down to the very bottom here, first row. And we are going to grab the second band. So whichever is the second band on each pin, you're going to grab it. It should be the same color as whatever you looped in the middle. And you're just going to bring it up and over and release. See, it kind of gets stuck in there on that band. Come up to the next one. And you want to be, you don't want to be in here anywhere. You want to make sure you're out here grabbing it. Because you want to be in front of those bands. So grab it from out here. Bring it up and over and let go. And it gets locked in on top of that band. So grabbing the second band in here. Bringing it up. You're just going to bring it up and over 
on each one. See how it's locking it in. Let's make sure yours is looking like that. And you should be good to go. finger was stuck. <laughs> there is not one on the very top row here. So that would have been your last one there. Don't forget to come to the right side and repeat the same process. Starting on the bottom right corner, you're going to grab the second band and bring it up. And we'll repeat that all the way up. Grabbing the second band and bringing it up and over. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. And then I'll come back in a second and show you our next step. Alrighty, so once you have that completed, make sure you push down your middle because we're going to loop in the middle again. So we're going to be grabbing the very bottom band, and I know it's a little bit tricky on this pin here because we have a lot of bands on there. But if you look down in there, whatever band is on the very bottom, it's a single chain running up both the centers. We're going to loom them as an X just like we did these pink ones. I'm going to start on this left pin here. We're going to push back and you're going to grab that bottom band and you're going to bring it up to the right. Then you're going to come on the right pin and loop that up. Oops, make sure you're only grabbing one band. It should be whatever band is in there. And I keep grabbing more than one. Oh, that's because on this very first row, the very, very bottom band is actually the border band. So you don't want to be grabbing that one. I'm sorry about that. I hope you guys grabbed the right band. I forgot about that being there. So it's actually the second to the last band only on this first row that you're grabbing. And then you'll bring it up to the left. Okay, so now, starting on this row, pushing back, you're grabbing the very bottom band, crossing it up, crossing the bottom right one up to the left. And just make sure you're starting on the correct side or the same side each time. I'm so tongue-tied tonight, if you haven't noticed. So you're just going to cross these like you would loom any X bands. Crossing back and forth. Once you get past the very first row, it's very easy. So basically the bands that we're looping right now are just outlining the layer we looped already, which is my pink. I can tell I haven't filmed in a while because I'm like stumbling over my words. <laughs> Looping like a maniac. Sorry about that, guys. My phone did cut off because I got a phone call. So I did go ahead and just finish looping the uh, middle whites that I was doing. So once you have completed yours, it should look like this. 
So um, if you haven't reached this part yet, you can just go ahead and pause or pause, rewind, fist for whatever you need to do to catch up to where I am. And now the last thing to do is loop the very side border bands. Um, so then we will come back to this middle row here, and now we will be grabbing the very, very bottom band and bringing it out to the side, which is the left for that one and the right for this one. And it really does not matter which side you do first. I'm just going to go ahead and do the left side. So once you brought that over, you're going to push back, grab the very bottom band, and bring it forward. And we'll do that all the way up like you would any typical single chain border band, pushing back anything on the pin, grabbing the bottom band, bringing it forward. Just going to grab the bottom, bring it forward, and keep doing that all the way up. Just make sure you are grabbing the very, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the very bottom band. I did not choose a good band for my border bands because these bands are getting all twisted up on me, as you can see, but that's okay. You live and you learn. Okay, so once you have gotten to the top, you're going to grab the very bottom band on that one and bring it into the center. Like so. Come to the right side and repeat the same process. Pushing everything back and looping up the bottom band forward. And when you reach the top, bring it in like we did on the left side. And I will return when I have reached there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm finally at the top. I've brought it in. Make sure you bring it in like you did on the left side. And then to attach our C-clip, we need to push back everything on the center pin. On the center pins. And grab that very bottom band. And bring it up. And that's where we will attach our C-clip. And at this point, I would recommend releasing at least the top row with your hook like that. And now I go around and I release the sides. I basically release everything with my hook. So when I get mine all off of the loom, I will show you what it looks like. Alrighty guys, so here it is off of the loom without messing with it at all. So what I have done to my other ones, since this is the side I like to wear it on and it tends to pop up more on this side, is I flip it like this and I bend it. And I squish it like this so that it pops out more on this side. And it does actually make a difference, especially depending on which bands you use. Because your goal is to kind of push down that border band like that. See how it's like flattening it out, making it pop up more on this side? And then that helps it kind of flatten out this side as well. Because you don't want those border bands curling in onto the other side. So that's pretty much all I did. And then if any of my border bands are tucked in, kind of loosen them up. I think it's a super cute and cool design. Hope you guys like it as well. And I did forget to tell you guys, I think I was not supposed to lay the first horizontal band that we did lay at the bottom. And that's why this super long band is like that on each side. So if you just take those two out, it will not affect your bracelet at all. 
because everything's secured in there. So if you have those two super loose bands at the bottom, which were the same color as all of these brown ones that I have there, just break them off and it will clean it up like that. So to close it, locate that C-clip. Swing it around and attach it to your cap band. Like so. And there you have my completed rigidy bracelet. Like I mentioned, this is my own original design. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please hit the like button below for me. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, you can also do that below as well. I do appreciate you guys watching. I have previously mentioned that I'll be doing a Q&A on myself. It's actually been like almost four weeks since I mentioned that. So I am so, so, so sorry that I haven't gotten it up yet. I promise one will be coming. I just have to find time to film. Um, so thank you guys so much for all of your support and patience. And I look forward to seeing you at my next video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.